Okay, I'm a loser. Wow. Okay, so confession. I write historic fiction mostly. Uh, this is a modern story. And my reading for pleasure is almost entirely histories and biographies. So I'm... Other than the fact that I read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies and laughed my head off because that was the silliest thing ever, um, I, I don't have any recommendations except I can say, David McCullough's newest book, whatever that is, is awesome. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Jane Austen. We need to convince him to do something that's not American and go write a story on her so that I'll have something to say of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I uh, have so much. Um, now, I know a lot of people... Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people didn't like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but I love the prequel and the sequel written by a different guy. His name is Steve Hawkins Smith, and those are awesome. If you want to see uh, Jane trying to warrior like a ninja warrior and she's not quite getting it, this is awesome. Dawn of the Dreadfuls. Okay, it's also horror, so you know, down my alley. Uh, Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. Now, I don't personally like Sense and Sensibility. I, it's like my bottom one. Um, but the Sea Monsters, oh, awesome. It just made that book for me. Colonel Brandon is like a Cthulhu. Ah. You know, I mean, it's, they're in an underground dome. The sharks are going to kill them. I mean, it's awesome, OK? Um, and then if you're looking for something that's more Austin-esque, um, there's a lady named Cara Louise. And she wrote Pirate and Prejudice, which Darcy has to go undercover as a pirate. And they're trying to teach him how to talk like it. And he's like, I don't do that. Um, <laughs> and then she also wrote Mr. Darcy's Voyage, which is like Titanic and Pride and Prejudice together, which is awesome! I mean, ugh. Um, if you're looking for modern, Terry Wilson just wrote, uh, just had her book made into a movie, Unleashing Mr. Darcy. And I could go on forever, so I'm going to let you guys, but uh, Carl Louise, make sure to write that name down. She has tons of variations. She started as an indie writer, and now she's with a publisher. Tons. I mean, if you want to know Pride and Prejudice through the dog's eyes, she has that book. <laughs> it is a huge world. Um, I think there's over a thousand austin -esque fictions of one kind or another published every year now. Uh, started as a trickle in the 19th century and really um, became a steamroller in the past decade. Um, I have a tendency to like the modern day ones because I feel like there's more creativity and also more rigorous interpretation of the story that goes into adapting to a different culture. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a school mom, I can't help it. Um, the, there are some wonderful period ones. I actually uh, made a little two-page list of period and modern um, Austin-esque books that I recommend, and there's a few copies of it, of it over on the table. Um, in terms of film, I like to go into the more liberal interpretations, I think. And having grown up in Beverly Hills, I have a great attachment to Clueless. Um, I also love and am endlessly fascinated by the Patricia Rosema version of Mansfield Park, which is very controversial. It's certainly a loose interpretation, I think of it more